Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to graph a circle from general form. Um, in order to graph it, we do need to get it into standard form. Remember that standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And the reason we want to get it into this form is because then we can find our center um, which is going to be at h comma k and the radius is going to be at r. So we want to get it into this form first. In order to do that we have to do what's called completing the square. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to group our x terms together. So I'm going to group x squared plus 6x and then I'm going to add a blank behind this. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space behind this. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I have to figure out what did I square in order to get this. And then we're going to do the same thing with our y. I'm going to take my y terms and I'm going to group them together. And I'm also going to add a blank. And then our constant term we're going to take to the other side. So this would be negative 6. And then because I added two blanks to the left side, I'm going to add those same two blanks to the right side. Because whatever I do to the left, if I do the same thing to the right, then my equation stays balanced. If I add the same values to both sides, my equation stays balanced. So what we want to do is we want to figure out what number are we going to plug in here. Basically, we're trying to figure out what would make this a perfect square trinomial. So what we're always going to do is we're going to take half of this number here. So we're going to take this number here, divide it by 2, and square the result. So this would end up being 3 squared, so I would put a 9 in the blank um, in order to complete the square. I'm going to do the same thing with my y term. I'm going to take the middle term right here. If it was negative 2, then I would take half of negative 2. So we're going to take half of that number or divide it by 2 and then square it. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 squared is 1. So whatever I filled the blank in with on the left hand side is simply what I put on the right hand side also. The reason we do that is now we can figure out what two numbers multiply together to give me 9 that add up to be 6. And it's always going to be a perfect square. It's always going to be whatever half of this number was. So x plus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is going to equal my radius squared. So if I simplify this, this would be negative 6 plus 9, which is 3 plus 1, which gives me 4. So now we have it in standard form. And like I said, once we get it into standard form, it's very easy to find our center and the radius of our circle. So our center is whatever value is being subtracted from x. So remember that it's whatever is being subtracted um, from x. So because I have x plus 3, that means that I'm really doing minus negative 3. And then since this is y plus 1, it would be y minus negative 1. So my center is going to be at negative 3, negative 1. And the radius, remember the radius is always the square root of the constant term. So I would take the square root of 4, which is 2. So to graph this, we would start with our x coordinate. And our x coordinate tells us to go back 3, so I would go 1, 2, 3. And then our y coordinate tells us to go down 1. So our center would be at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and then down 1. Our radius tells us that we're going to go 2 in every direction from the center. So we're going to go out 2 in each direction. And then we would simply connect these dots with a circle. It's always easier to draw a circle when you have a smaller radius. The larger the radius I find, the harder that it is. Um, just do your best job because I know drawing circles is not easy. So we can see that our radius is 2. Our center was at negative 3, negative 1. You can't graph it directly from this unless you have graphing software that allows you to plug it in. Um, but a lot of even graphing calculators, unless they have an app in them, um, it's easier just to get it into standard form, complete the square, so you're trying to figure out what did I square, um, what did I simplify 
in order to get this. As always, thanks for watching. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, please remember to like and subscribe.